We welcome you to the Ogona Art Family. It's time for evolution. Today, I'm going to be talking about the benefits of being alone. And so I just want to say that there's nothing wrong with taking time out for yourself, you know, going to the movies by yourself, enjoying the movies on your own, going into nature, relaxing on your own. There's nothing wrong with that. And you don't have to do it with, with other people. You can be just fine and happy doing all these activities on your own. The moment you start to find happiness being alone, you start to understand yourself more. You start to cater to your emotional state when you're alone. And at the same time, we do need people because we are social beings, you know. However, you, you can also be happy on your own. At the same time, when you're alone, that's where many of your creative, your, your inner muse starts to, to flow, you know. I know that whenever I go into walks, walks into nature alone or whenever I go to the movies alone, I'm not distracted by so many voices talking to me. You know, when I'm when I go to the movies alone, I can like really like like uh, critique the movie, understand and learn from it. You know, like I could really zone in if I didn't have someone else with me. You know, I can really fo- hone in and focus. You know, when whenever I'm alone, whenever I go into nature alone, I can hone in and focus on my thoughts. And that's when the creative muse starts to go in, takes takes into place the, all like all the uh, ideas. And at the same time, uh, nature is also a really, it's, it's a relaxing environment. So that's also a plus to like get out of the house. And if you ever want like ideas, just chill out, take take walks into nature, like be, be alone, be by yourself. And you know, whenever I go to like social events, I tend to enjoy social events more when I go there alone and not with uh, other peers because I get to meet and explore and, and experience new people as opposed to stick to the same old uh, the same old crowd of people that I usually know. I get to experience and talk to new people, you know, because you, you can go to the events just to socialize, you know. Uh, if you happen to make friends or you make a best friend, that's all a byproduct of, uh, of socializing. It's likewise, how money is a byproduct of, of mon- monetizing or, or following that, that passion of yours. Socializing is a byproduct of making friends, but you don't have to go. You don't have to have that intention of going there to make friends. You could just go there to meet people, and you know, making friends can just be a, an, an unexpected byproduct that happens. And I feel that when we can understand and find peace when we are alone, we have we also have gain another capability or or an ability to let go of people. You know. Many people want to like uh, very like forcefully try to keep people into their lives. However, you know that that takes a toll on you, and that also takes a toll on them. So you know, being alone, being happy, being alone makes you be at peace with letting go of people. You know, it, rather they want to come, rather they want to include themselves in your, in your life or not. You know, it doesn't matter. As long as you can find peace with who you are. You know, you love yourself. You know, and then you continue on, you know, finding uh, finding some kind of a peace and drink, tranquility when it comes to being alone. Rather you want to, rather you want to like uh, really dive in and, and do some inner work, some inner self discovery work, or, or 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 focus and hone in on your on your purpose or your, or your passions when you're alone. Being alone has its has great benefits to it, but at the same time, at the same time. We don't want to exclude ourselves from uh, f- exclude ourselves from people in general. So it's important to socialize, get out there. You know, I, I know for me, I I tend to socialize at least you know at least every every week, every week or so. I tend to like go out somewhere to socialize at some kind of gathering or or a group. But I don't ha- I don't go there with the intention of making friends. But if friendship or something more does happen then that's just a byproduct and also there's this quote that it's better to be alone than with people who don't understand you you know so if you if you have any like negative people in your life or you know you have very toxic people or you just have people they don't have they don't have to necessarily be toxic you can you just you just don't vibe with them 
it doesn't mean that they're toxic it doesn't mean that they're bad people you know you just the energy the vibe the vibration or, or the vibe it's just it's just it's just not there so you know when it, when it comes to that you don't have to sacrifice yourself or anything you can just be alone be happy being alone enjoy being alone i remember there are there are some kids i i see sometimes that like you know they, they have so much fun just discovering things you know just exploring or playing by themselves they have so much fun doing these these activities by themselves you know and at the same time they they, they know that balance of you know also socializing as well so you know kids they 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 enjoy both both af- aspects of of socializing and playing by yourself being at peace with yourself i feel that we as people you know we don't constantly need to uh to find find or seek validation from other people or to constantly try to force a a friendship or some kind of relationship to happen the, you know stuff like this just has to happen naturally you, you can't you, you can't push people you can't you know you can't really uh you can't force this, these things to happen you know it, it, it's just it's just you have to enter this this natural flow this natural patience and also have something going on in your life that's greater than a relationship or a friendship at times you know go at it alone and you know not try to force anything and you know focus on yourself understand who you are as a person the the people who are meant to be in your life will will eventually re- reach out to you you know you don't have to force anything you know if they if they really wanted to to be in your life they'll they'll make an effort to reach out and you know if they if they don't then you know it's 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 also good you know you guys can just go your separate ways just you know i guess the, the vibe just isn't there but however remember that that one person you know that one person that whatever that you're trying to force a, a friendship or some kind of relationship with not to go off on a tangent just remember that there are an abundant there, there's an abundance of people there's an abundance of, of friends that that are all around us just go to these events and, and whatnot but there there are abundance of people that we can build a emotional uh, uh, emotional connection with you know and they say that it's, it's difficult to make friends as as an adult I don't believe that's true uh, maybe back in the days when there, when, when uh, internet didn't exist. However, with 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 uh, with sites such as meetups or, or or Eventbrite, you can go to these. Uh, you can go to several different events to meet with people, you know. And you can constantly go to these events to to build that rapport with those friends that you met at the events. So it's not really. I don't feel it's difficult to make friends as an adult. But I also uh, I, maybe maybe it depends like on your location where where are you on the on the globe cuz I live in New York City. There's always something going on in New York City. So uh yeah. So yeah, maybe maybe it doesn't apply to everyone. Maybe maybe it does. So anyway, not to go off on a tangent. Being alone can have its can have great benefits for your mental health, for your emotional health, and also for your physical health when you just take time to like exercise, you know, alone. And I remember in a in one of my uh, in one one of my uh, schools, they they advocated they uh, they promoted uh, these study groups. You know, I could never do study groups because I just feel that we get. I le- at least for me, like if I were to do a study group, I feel like I'd get distracted, you know, talking or, you know, they'd get distracted talking about something else or I wouldn't have time to really hone in and focus on my internal struggles. So I prefer to like really study and hone in and, and practice alone as opposed to with a crowd of people. I feel that the, the qualities of being an extrovert and the qualities of being a introvert should be appreciated in our society. I, I do feel that uh, society does kind of uh, shun shun people being introverted 
as opposed to the extroverted power i feel both should be embraced and some people mistake introversion as 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 uh as shyness you know but it is they're completely different uh you can you can have an introverted shy person but you go you can also have an introverted outgoing person you know that will be the video thank you guys for watching feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button as well and if you have any suggestions on as to what topics i should do next feel free to leave so in the comments down below and peace